think the paint points were 38 to 4, and I don't think I've ever seen that um, in a basketball game before. You know, you take that personal. I think our bigs uh, felt like they let our team down. And uh, today, I thought we were a little bit more stout in the interior. You have to be. Virginia's going to play extremely physical. Um, we got the bonus, and so we got to the free throw line. Um, you know, 17 free throws isn't isn't like you're, you're in a turnstile getting the line. Against Virginia, it is. That could be 25, 30 free throws against uh, teams that play normal defense. Coach, uh, at your place, you held Jerome to a season low four points. He had a rough shooting night. Anything different tonight? I mean, that you saw defensively against him? I know that he was bad on uh, some back tightness, or sitting out some practices and games. I don't know if that affected him, but I told our guys at halftime, or I told our staff at halftime, he looked a lot quicker today. I mean, I, I just, his quickness level, um, you know, he's got great size, he's so composed, his ability to read a ball screen, you know, some of those hook passes. <laughs> You know, with a couple seconds left in the shot clock, not too many college players can make that play. Um, you give him a lot of credit. We want to try to put as much pressure, you know, on their guards as we can. But um, they don't lose their composure when you pressure them an awful lot. They just, they just don't. And but I did think his quickness level was just seemed different, you know, from my vantage point uh, than it was when we played him at home. Chris, you you talked a lot, um, especially in February and into this month about kind of fighting back when the other team goes on runs, and it seems like today you guys did a much better job of that. I realize it's a loss, but can you take positives from the response that you guys had in a couple of those moments? Absolutely. You know, again, nobody wants to, uh, you know, come in second. Uh, you know, we're not in the, uh, the locker room doing handstand cartwheels, but, uh, you know, they, they got a chance to win it all. They, they do. They're a veteran crew. They've got high-level talent. And Tony's the best coach in the country. Um, he's just, uh, they know who they are. They know what their identity is. Um, and I thought our kids, you know, for the longest time, we struggled with our confidence for, for two, three weeks. And we didn't play very well. And uh, I just, I noticed a different spirit about our team the last couple of weeks. Makes me feel really good. There's a lot of teams this time of the year, as hard as it is to believe, that really uh, they want their season to be over. Uh, I don't have any type of feeling like that in our locker room. Our guys, they fought today and uh, they're disappointed. And they shouldn't be because we lost, but we put ourselves in a position against one of the best teams in the country uh, to win the game. And if we give that type of effort, we have that type of urgency, you know, get a little bit more composed in the offensive end and crunch time, there's not a team in the country that we can't uh, be in a three minute, two minute war to win the game, whether it was ACC tournament or NCAA tournament. If I remember correctly, Huff played pretty well against you in Little Rock. You're uh, leading by six, he comes down and hits a three. Later, it's a one-point game, and he hits another three. What, what did you tell your team about him before the game? Um, we, we know how skilled he is. Um, he, he's a, you know, you look at him, he's, he's seven foot one or two or whatever he is. We know how well he shoots the ball, but you know we felt, especially early in the shot clock, the only way that you're you're really going to negate that pick and pop three at the top of the key is to switch the ball screen. And we tried to do that a little bit later in the game, and you saw the result. You know, Ty Jerome uh, dances with the ball, Malik Williams, who did a fabulous job up until the point where he fouled him. It's just, you know, what mismatch do you want? I don't want to say that we live with those threes because when the ball gets thrown back, the closest man needs to sort of jump and swipe as we uh, as we term it so he can give the five man a chance to get back but uh, you give him credit he's he's a really good shooter uh, at his position and makes it a very tough team to guard. Chris you, you talked about the, the two three weeks of crisis of confidence or whatever not every team gets it back um, or even a person it's hard to get back what did this team do to you think to, to find his spirit and move on? We stayed together um, certainly the Notre Dame game us playing really well in the second half, I think, um, you know, allowed us to spark that, that belief a little bit. But I, I don't think we ever came to practice with um, a woe is me attitude. We're just playing murderous row at times on the road. We didn't play very well uh, in a couple games. And, you 
know, you have to have a short-term memory in this league at times. You got to learn from it, but uh, you got to be able to put it behind you and focus on the next game. And, and we got to do that same thing today. Take one you more. You mentioned Virginia knows who they are. They know their identity. Do you think your team at this point knows their own identity? We're getting there. I mean, how, how many years has Tony been here? Absolutely. We're getting there. Oh, <laughs> damn, I don't know what I'm going to look like in 10 years. <laughs> Probably be bald. Ugly. Yeah, <laughs> We're getting, I think our team understands that um, if you defend, you can, you can keep yourself in any game, no matter how ugly it looks. Um, you know, again, I think uh, we, we have to be a little bit more solid with the basketball, with our decision making and, and, and our shot selection, and especially in crunch time. But uh, this is all new to some of our guys within roles and you know end game situations. But uh, if you battle like we did on defense, uh, and this team shows. 